Hi guys, what is up? Um, not much over here. So I shot a video yesterday which was supposed to go up last night, but because of the wind uh, where I was outside yesterday, it got destroyed by the wind. You could barely hear anything that I was saying, so I thought I'd shoot this video all over again today. So before I begin, disclaimer, this video may contain scenes of sarcasm as well as offensive language. So, viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so before I talk about what I want to talk about, um, the first thing that I want to say is um, I went to the theater yesterday and I seen Ted. Um, go see that movie. If, if you want to go ahead and pause this video, just pause this video. I'll wait. Go see the movie and then comment below how it was. No, really, go pause the video. Tell me how it was. Alright, so, for those of you that are still watching it at this point, you probably know that there's been a lot of drama in my life over the last couple of days. If you follow me on Twitter or my Facebook or anything like that at all, you probably know there's drama going on. So, I more or less just want to clear things up here. So, basically... Long story short, my ex-girlfriend, or pardon me, my ex-fiance, sorry if she knows, no that's not her name, um, basically messaged me privately on Facebook and told me that she heard that we had broken up and, me and my current girlfriend that is, that we had broken up and she was sorry to hear that. News to me. I didn't know that we had broken up. So, I did go on Facebook that day, though, and noticed that it was no longer listing me in a relationship with this person that I've been in a relationship with now for a few years. So I confronted her on it. And the first thing out of her mouth was, did your ex-girlfriend tell you this? My gut reaction was, no. You might not have told the truth. That's fine. But I don't believe anything my ex-girlfriend tells me, so... I chose to leave that information out there because I don't believe her, so... Why the hell am I gonna bring it up if I don't believe her? So then, a little while later, she posts on Facebook, It must have been more important for you to lie than to tell the truth. No. And this is what I don't understand. It's why people are having a hard time with this. I lied because I didn't believe the person that was supposedly telling me the truth. Because she's an ex-fiance. There shouldn't be any more need to clarify that. If I believed the person, then I would have been forward with the information and wouldn't have said that, that she didn't tell me that. So, now that we have that clarified, I, and I know that this has been going back and forth now for a little while, but apparently I'm the bad guy in all of this. Well, I'm going to choose to share with you a story that I haven't shared with anyone. Um, this happened mm, a couple months after I moved to my current address. And back then, this neighborhood was notorious for violence, crime, drugs, prostitution. This was a really bad neighborhood when I moved here all those years ago. So one night I was working I think at 5.30 till 2 in the morning shift or maybe even a 7.30 to 4 in the morning shift because at that time we had later shifts. And I was walking home, I was walking on the opposite side of the street as to where I live, and I got over to where the hotel is, or the motel. It was under different management back then, I don't even think it was the same business at that time. And the girl, she must not have been more than maybe 18 years old, ran out of the motel driveway, screaming bloody murder, asking for help. 
So, being the only person at 4 o'clock in the morning on in the street, of course I'm going to do something about this. So, I approached her, and uh, she asked to use my phone to, to call family. I gave her my phone, she called her family, and then she gave back the phone, and she was, she said, I'm going to try to walk to my brother's house. He just lives on Joseph Howe. And I was like, well, this is a really horrible neighborhood. You shouldn't be out walking at 4 o'clock in the morning, especially alone, at that age. I'll walk you to your brother's house. So, we started walking uh, towards her brother's house. At that time, I didn't know he lived on Joseph Howe. Um, another street notorious for for violence and various other illegal activities. So um, we started walking in that general direction, and then she asked to use my phone again to call her brother and get an address. So she used my phone to call her brother to get the address, and he refused to give her anything more than Joseph Howe. It's a big street. There's a lot of apartment buildings on that street. So then she proceeds to hand me the phone and said, talk to him. So I talked to the brother. He doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't want to give me his address. He doesn't want to help me get his sister home safely. Figure that out. Now, thinking about it now, all these years later, I should have realized that well, that's really suspicious. I should have just called the police. But at the time, it didn't It didn't click. He hung up on me, and I was like, well, I'll walk you to Joseph Howe, and then we'll have to figure out where he is. So I walked her to Joseph Howe that night, um, during which time my ex fiance was blowing up my phone with text messages wondering where the hell I was. And uh, got her to Joseph Howe, and uh, she thanked me for, for walking her that far, and gave me a hug and a peck on the cheek, and she went on her way. So, come to find out, and she told me this as we were walking home, that um, she'd gone to the hotel to meet someone, and they had attempted to rape her. So... If anyone out there wants to judge my character and, and judge who I am and say that I'm an asshole and that I'm a bad person, I've done really good things for people. But I don't go around and I don't brag about these things that I've done for people, so don't sit there and judge me saying I'm an asshole. Because I'm not an asshole. So yeah, that concludes that topic. So the other thing that I was outside doing yesterday is I was outside um, taking photos. And I don't know if any of you Instagram at all. Oops, sorry. I don't know if any of you Instagram at all. Uh, if you do, feel free to follow me, knuff1985. Um, always uploading photos on Instagram. And for those of you that have no idea what it is, it's a photo uploading application for Android and iPhone. Um, it has a lot of really cool features. So definitely check it out. So let's see, what else is going on? Oh. Update on the um, two to three part video that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to do it. Um, the first take of that video was deleted because of a personal attack towards someone that I know. Um, it wasn't... The whole point of that video was not to make it into a personal attack video, but it ended up being one. So I deleted it. And then, uh, as you know, during take two of that video, I had those weird symptoms and required medical attention. So, it is coming. I'm going to shoot it ASAP. So, hopefully it comes up very, very shortly.